Okay, do I wanna... Can I... Question, can I build... Aha! I can build some slime apple trees. I'm probably gonna just do, like, a couple of rows of it and have, like, a little orchard here. I think we need tilled earth first. Okay, I'm gonna elevate these just so I have some more space. Nope. Build mode. Nature, crops, carrots. Okay. So we need a little bit more space. Oh, okay, good. I got the I got the tilled soil back. I was worried for a second. Alright, nature, back to crops. Get the carrot down. Now we've got now we got both growing. Uh next question. Items build mode. Elevate slash move. I move this. Yes. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna warp the slime apple trees over into my de facto orchard. So the question is, what to do with the original hero? Kill them in your place, turn them into a harmless pet animal. Turn them into Dalton. Make make the hero think that they were your best friend slash sidekick. And just let them be a dingus. You know, Dalton made a good point this morning. He says, you need an official title. And you're in office. What do you think your title should be, Dark Wizard? Mayor? No. There we go. It's decided. You're officially Dark w Dark Wizard, Overlord of You Fools. That is a nice ring to it. <laughs> Now, our new official overlord is deserving of an official building. A building where you can write new rules for you fools and the townsfolk. My office. Okay, question. How much higher can we go? Is this, is this max height? It is. That's just tragic. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do flooring, dirt road, here. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't know what that flower is. But what we're going to do is build my office. Probably right there. Lower and destroy. Whatever this is. Collect the red lo lollipop. Okay, cool. Got it back. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this pesky hilltop that we don't need. Because it is, it is nothing but kind of slightly in our way. There we go. Just fill that out a bit. There we go. Okay, so next up... Let us build the moat. Now, if only I could make, like, bridges or something. That would be... That'd be... Pretty primo for this. There we go. Huh. 
Okay. Uh, you know what? In the interest of being able to tra traverse this area, I'm gonna do that a bit. There we go. And now we have, well, little fishies in the moat. I'll probably reorganize much of this town at a later date. But this is, this is fine. Oops, that's not what I want. This is what I want. My office. Wow, your own official office. It's very fitting for you fools, Overlord. Over there is your brand new office chair and desk. That's where you can sit and make new town wishes. That plaque on the wall is also very important. You can view you fools' town beauty score. Well, Dark Wizard, check it out. It is... I mean, it still says messy. It is beautiful. Oh. Okay, town witches purchase. So extra fruit trees, crops, fish, bug, weed value, town decor, daily energy, extra fruit, extra fish, more bug, more meteorites, extra chicken items, cow items, big items, sheep items, and hangout bonuses. That's what I got. What can I upgrade with this one? I don't know, but I'm going to start upgrading my office. Okay. Well, these are going to be kind of expensive. Hey. Compliment. Really think so? Guess I am handy. Hang out. Okay. We made planks yesterday, so I should probably go work on getting some more wood. Or not wood, rock. Did I? Yep, that's under construction. Anyway, let's just make a whole bunch of plain brick. There we go. Uh, let's see. Wander, lower the music a little bit. It is kind of loud. I turned it down beforehand, but I guess I didn't turn it down enough. I'm probably also a lot quieter than usual. Oh, there is a sprint. That's the sprint button. It's a little awkward. I'll take it. There we go. That should be at least somewhat somewhat quieter. I'm still going to be kind of quiet today. I just... Ugh. Voice was just kind of grubbins today. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to my office. We might want to consider selling some things, too. What, what decrees can be made? So extra fish spawn chance. Extra bug spawn chance. Because I think this is kind of like the, the leveling progression system. I guess I'm going to go for the fish spawn chance. And I'm just going to go to bed. And she's just going to hang out and watch, which is just weird. I'm really curious what these levels do. Because I they're going up, but I have no idea what they actually affect. Journal? My hobbies. Like, what is the point of having a stupidly high... Mining. I think it just lets me get better tools. Okay. Dear Dark Wizard, just wanted to congratulate you on hitting level 5 in crafting. Dear Dark Wizard, I tried fishing this morning, but nothing was biting. I'm throwing my bobber right on top of them. Dear Dark wi Wizard, hmm, I'm starting to enjoy living here in Ufels. Have money. Okay. Oh, right. This got finished. So, unlock more furniture and items. Unlock rare items, rare items, rare items. I was really hoping the leveling up would actually increase, like, your efficiency of actions or something to that extent. But, alas. Oh. 
Oh, goofed that one. There we go. I don't think there's really any immediate benefit here. So, one way, one way or another, it seems like my best bet is to make as much money as possible and max out the amount of wishes that I'm making. That one's real good. Because, yeah, we'd sell for five more dew drops. Maybe that's not amazing. But it still seems better. Unlock new town wishes, town wishes. Yeah, so I guess the real perk system is purely through the wishes and nothing more. I wonder if there's, like, an upper limit on it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm working on a new and exciting blueprint, but it's not quite finished yet. Remember that time we found the treasure chest in Durbro's Desert? A whole airship was buried in the sand. But then we got attacked by that enormous dune worm, all thanks to me. We sure had a grand adventure together, Dark Wizard. Well. Let's just have her wander around, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so we want to sell weeds. Seeing as we just made it a lot more economically viable to sell them. Uh... Now what? I guess we go catch bugs, chop trees, and go from there. I know we get other characters later. They give us more things to kind of do? I don't know. It's, it's a very charming game. It is still... To some degree, kind of thin. But I think a lot of that thinness just comes from the fact that it, it wasn't really meant to be a particularly deep game. And so I, I could see some kind of interesting things going on, especially as I, I build up the town wishes. And maybe I, maybe I just have to stick it out long enough to get there. <laughs> but I, I guess it's one of those that... I have developed the perspective that grind, grind is stinky lately, and it's really hard to shake that. It's just a chill kind of game. Can't you leave the town for resources? I can't leave the town yet. I need a character to show up that puts down like an air balloon. And I don't have that yet. Grind is life. I, uh, I guess. Uh, let's see. Do we have movable rocks too? Nope, they spawn randomly. This game has a lot of Animal Crossing in it, really. Pookie Woogie! Did he give me a slime apple? I think he did. Food pantry. Nope. Alright. Well, I got a lot of fish. Oh, I see. Today's hint is... Slime apple plus fish. Wait, really? Okay. What about two minnow? I can also do weeds, lily pad, old leaf. Yeah, I don't think I can cook with any of these right now. I'll just leave it. Leave that for there. Or leave that for now. Come back later. Ah, slime plus carrot. I can see that. Well, the carrots aren't ready yet, so... Even if I wanted to, I can't. Let's just make planks until I pass out. Okay. Not quite pass out, because that would be... that would be bad.
wonder if I can pass that in somebody else's house. Probably not. On the plus side, my mercantile skill is improving. Hey, there's the carrots. Okay. Dear Dark Wizard, I don't like mining very much. Anything that can get my feathers dirty is a no for me. That said, great job on getting level 5 in mining. Dear Dark Wizard, nice job hitting level 5 in fishing. I'm working on my form so I can cast my line out further. Dear Dark Wizard, this town's looking better every day thanks to you. I see your crafting levels shot up all the way to 10. Dear Dark Wizard, Eufels is really coming along. Here's a gift to help you out. Still don't know what heroic merits net us. Oops. I Sometimes I just like totally zonk and don't actually pick anything up. Where's the merchant? Brings gifts. Pebbles. Perhaps we will meet again someday. Well, now we've got carrots. And a slime apple. Slime apple and carrot. We made bubbly dragon. Okay, that actually sounds pretty good. Why does this random villager have a chunk of Orichalcum? Not a clue. Orichalcum? Or Ori in the blind cal calculator? Ori in the blonde forest. Full of. I don't know why. That one's been stuck in my head for forever. I apologize for saying it, but at the same time, I don't apologize that much. Let's see, I got 325. Let's see what things I can do. Okay, more crops allowed. Probably more crops allowed. Ooh, and then we might want to save up for daily energy. Because actually being able to do anything seems useful. Hang out. What were we doing again? I'm kind of lost. I, unfortunately, I think this game really just boils down to wait for content to unlock, grind doing the same thing endlessly. It's not necessarily the end of the world. Oh good, I can just hold down A for this. Just give me a little bit more, please. I was hoping for just one more bit of 25, but alas. Hey, Dark Wizard, do you remember when we were walking through the Alexandrian forest? Willow wouldn't stop blabbering her big mouth and she woke up an emerald dragon. If it wasn't for my amazing sword skills, we would have been toast. This is a lie. It's trying to be incremental, but I'm not sure it has enough stuff between the unlocks. Gonna grab it and play it, though. Still looks fun fun enough. It's very chill. It's the kind of game that you absolutely could just, like, load up and play for a, a while. I guess I, I'm always perpetually afraid of just ending up with a another Graveyard Keeper. Because, like, I liked Graveyard Keeper enough. It was a neat game, but it was very much a... Slog. Hey, Dark Wizard, I was up all late, uh, all last night finishing this new masterpiece. It's the most exciting blueprint yet. I was thinking that you needed a way to travel around Solemn. There's so many people that would like to see you again. Also, there are many rare items that can be found in other areas. So, without further ado, please take this blueprint, hot air balloon, hang out. Come, minion, you have not disappointed me. I will grace you with my presence, and you will grace me with your funds! should probably see what else sells well. Oh. How dare you! I dropped 25 hours into Graveyard Keeper, enjoyed all of them. But at the same time, picking it up again to finish your run just feels meh. Feels like a gamified to-do list. Yup. 
And it's like, I, I would love to play more games in kind of that, that and this general genre, but sticking it out always just felt like work in a bad way. I think that's why I've always been drawn to Factorio and Factorio Likes, because it still has that grind, but half of it is just about circumventing the grind with new technologies, which leads to more grinds, but it just feels better. I wonder if there's a limit to the amount of town wishes I can have, or if I just keep scaling that up forever. Let's see, what else was I going to do? I've pretty much done everything that I possibly can. Oh, right. Cooking. Fifty-five dewdrops. Okay, today's hint is two slime apples. Slime pudding. Gross. One of the things I love about my industry is all of that. Uh, is all of that but faster. Need to finish that too. Yup. I've been enjoying playing my industry lately. I really would like to play my industry again. Uh... But, like, with multiplayer as well. But I gotta get people for that. The fact that none of these characters actually seem to care that I, I have left them without... ...furnishings in their house just super amuses me. Holy shit, that's big. Well... Put it right here. Let's... let's lower this. This isn't helping me anyway. Yeah, once we have all of the structures unlocked, then I will probably reorganize everything. Okay, so we could go to Endless Forest or Dust Cavern. Plus some other locations we don't have unlocked yet. Uh, to the Endless Forest. Despotic... Mayor Wander confirmed? Of course. Lilith! Oh, uh, hey, Fiona. That was your last chance. You're off the squad. You nearly killed us all with your uncontrollable magic. You almost sapped our whirly bugs. We could have been stranded. I'm really sorry about that, Fiona. Please, just give me one more chance. It's always been my dream to be a lightning mage. These are dangerous missions, Lilith. It's up to the lightning mages to protect and preserve the endless forest. I'm sorry, but we can't afford to risk any more than we already do. Magic is not for everyone, but this is final. You're off the squad. Oh, fine. I'll just leave then. Hey, I heard you needed a town. I also heard your jerk talk. Hello, I'm sorry you had to see that. Lilith's a girl, good girl. She just can't control her magic. I've never seen a mage with that much destructive power. Okay, so... What can we get with this one? Increases the chance of finding fruit trees, magic trees, golden trees. Gotcha. Bug buzzes around playfully. I don't want to catch this one. Why? Oh, sealed by magic. Level 50 woodcutting and gathering before I can do anything with either of those. Fair enough. It's mud puppy. I wonder what other strange creatures live in the endless forest. Hey there. I'm Olivia. I tend to the whirly bugs here in the endless forest. Once they drop you off in the forest, you can leave by opening your menu. Just select Leave for Forest and your whirly bug will be bring you back here. If you haven't gotten eaten yet. Hello, take me away, weird spider creature. I feel like it just, like, gloms onto my head. I mean, that's what it looked like, but... I'm gonna go with that's the official answer. What is this? Ow. I died. Oh, and I can't get to the other one. Well. Alright, got clobbered. Back home we go! I guess I'll look at the dust cavern while we're here. Okay, so don't, just don't get eaten by those. 
Well, that's basic. I thought I'm supposed to be mighty. Alas. Yeah, I tried to chop a tree and... I know. I just wanted to see what would happen. The answer is, don't get gobbled by either of those things. It goes bad. I'm just going bad. And don't touch the critters. Heroic friend maker. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, I saw you by the endless forest the day I... I'm Lilith. I heard Eufels was a growing town. And I thought, maybe I could stay here. I totally understand if you don't want me to stay, though. It's true that I can't control my magic sometimes. Really? You think I'd fit right in? That's great. I heard the hero of Solon lives here, too. Can't wait to meet our hero. I'm like the biggest fan. A name like Lilith. That's kind of confusing and disturbing. Build. House. Oh, I need fancy planks. Well, excuse me. I guess you get to... Oops. Can I tell her to follow me? Nope. Dear Dark Wizard, thanks for cleaning up all those pesky bees around town. Congrats on hitting level 5 and bug catching. Dear Dark Wizard, I've been buying some of your items in the marketplace. Can't believe you sold all this cool stuff. It's all weeds. Congrats on hitting level 10 merchanting. Why would you buy my weeds? What's wrong with you? Well, I don't know where she went. All right, guess you get to come with me. Let's see. One of the most important blueprints is the desk. Building one for the uh, townsfolk will let you see their request for their home. I think Dalton fellow will give you a desk blueprint eventually. Oh, Fudge, didn't expect to catch this one live. Really enjoying your content. Now to catch up on Monster Sanctuary goodness. Have a good day. Yeah, just trimmed my beard this morning. I'm glad you like it. Hang out. I'm always up for hanging out if you are. Get that dang fish. It looked at me funny. Hey, Dark Wizard. I know you're super busy with rebuilding Ufels and all, but do you think you could build me some cool new furniture? I made this blueprint for a desk. If you build one, I can write down all my, uh, write all my cool ideas down. Build essentials. No? Decorative? Desk. Okay, one an ocean bed. Aqua carpet, bookshelf, and an adventurer's chair. Well. What else we got? Solemn clock. Bookshelf is expensive. I think I'm gonna hold off on that for at least a little while. I wonder if I can actually sell sell these fish. Well, flip side, that does kind of solve my money problems. Oh, wow. Okay. That'll solve some of my financial issues as well. I don't remember. I don't know if any of these are useful for anything. Which is a bit of a fear. Let's just sell minnows for the rest. Okay, build mode... Decorative desk. Okay, at least I get a hundred dew drops every time I do this. But yeah, wants also a bookshelf. Okay, we get some money. Today's hint is is that a... Maybe... No, that's not a lily pad, so I don't know what that is. Bill and I were arguing this morning about our past adventure. He was the one who woke up the Emerald Dragon in the Alexandrian Forest. But it was me who got us out alive. Oh, you still can't remember. Eh. 
I've been too comfy on my couch lately, and it's not good for me. My posture is atrocious. Boogie woogie. Well. Now we have a whole bunch of money, though, which is quite nice. Uh, Let's... No matter what, let's finish making our, our weekly wishes. There shouldn't be a limit on these, should there? I hope not. Right, which leaves me plenty of money to spend on other things. I guess, actually, we should probably wish for more wishes. There we go. The Emerald Dragon is obviously the one that got them out alive. <laughs> Watch it that just everybody in this town is just dumb. Uh, like, everybody attached to the hero was just like... Had no idea what they were doing. And... So, they were effectively just Mr. Magooing through adventures. But none of the things that they were like, quote-unquote, fighting against... Let's see. Like, none of the things that they were actually up against were were dangerous. Uh, so they run into the dragon slayer, and they're like, Oh no, a dragon! Whatever will we do? And the dragon's just like, please, please leave. And they're all like, oh, Man, we barely got out of that one alive! And the dragon's like, please, just, just go. It's embarrassing to even be around you. And so eventually the, uh, the dark wizard just erased their memories. Just so that, uh, you know, they, they can actually go home. Sounds like a great idea for a campaign or a one-shot D&D session. <laughs> just mandate everybody makes terrible characters and there's minimal combat and the only combat that happens is purely accidental. Or straight up just like... Not their fault, but uh, what would be a good example? Well, I mean, the classic, uh, you encounter a gazebo, and the characters are just like, Oh no, it's a gazebo! Okay. Desk here. So... Within 16 paces of the coffee shop. And then he's he wants stuff that I cannot deliver to him. But that's okay. Oh, now I have a lot more money than I thought I would. Let's see. Can I... No, this is under construction. I think... Let's go over here. I really want to do a D&D &D campaign where I'm a player at some point. I'm just like 100% playing just a, the wrong character. Uh, let's go back to the Endless Forest because I think we need this. Like I, I, a level, or not a level 9, a 9 intelligence wizard would just be delicious. Just absolutely incapable. I think... I think they specifically made it so that, uh, wizards are no longer... Okay, th that B seems interesting, but I don't want to interact with it until slightly later. Uh, do you actually need to have a high or, like, a decent intelligence stat anymore to to be a wizard? Or, if, or does it just give you penalties? Because I remember back in the 3rd edition days, if your int wasn't high enough, you straight up couldn't cast higher level spells. Which was an issue for people. Okay. I am out of energy, but I got everything useful here. Now let's try talking to the bee. Beefert. 
Ah, an adventurer. Please don't hurt me. I'm just a low-level bee monster. I don't even drop rare items. Huh? You're not going to attack me? Woohoo! Say, could we be friends? My name's Beefern, and I'm a friendly monster. Be careful when in the forest. Some trees are rather mean. Love to fly around for flowers. How lovely they smell. All right. We've made a friend, I guess. All right. Leave forest, return home. That's nice. But I can just warp straight here. Yeah. In 3.5, if your int was 9, you couldn't cast a cantrip, which was annoying. <laughs> Wasn't actually, like, that big of a deal, but... I'm just gonna get rid of these. At this point, I have enough money to not just be selling my lily pads and old leaves. Unless they actually have no immediate purpose. You know what? I'm gonna assume old leaves have zero purpose. I could be wrong on this one, but I just probably has no purpose. I guess we'll find out later. Dear Dark Wizard. Oh wait, yeah. Dear Dark Wizard, I heard you achieved level 10 woodcutting already. You sure do work fast. Did you get a chance to build a desk for some of the townsfolk? Some may want to live on higher elevations or close to certain structures and youthfuls. Try interacting with the desks in different houses to see people's requirements. Okay. First off, I must find my favorite minion. Luckily, his positioning is pre predictable. I have no idea if fishing is actually a good moneymaker for me. Good for food, though. Well, there's the money. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that very often. But now I've got crazy cash. Uh, sure, let's just get the fish up here. I did sell a golden acorn after all. Hopefully they're not actually necessary for anything other than just finances. 